welcome back to our Krav Maga class with Krav Maga and fitness expert Owen Malul where he shows us real life situations that were caught on camera and teaches us how to defend ourselves. Owen? Thanks Emmanuel. Okay guys, so let's jump right into the video and learn what can we do. So I don't know if you remember Emmanuel this video, it was all over the news. There is um, the lady here who pretends that she's a terrorist. She's talking to uh, the security guard. Security guard. Everything's normal, casual. So he asked her for her papers. He's checking her papers. The moment she's uh, sending her hand towards her bag and pulls a knife on them, now she's stabbing him with the knife. All right. So you're going to be teaching us how to defend ourselves, so, and Adam here is going to be helping us out. Yes. This specific situation happened when stabbing in Israel was happening all over the country. So of course the security guard can think to himself, maybe this woman will pull out a knife, all of that. So again, situation, I'm here checking the paper or talking to the person. You can also imagine a situation when you have simply someone suspicious on the street, a homeless guy, a drunk guy, someone you don't know that looks suspicious. Now, you don't want to be like, whoa man, calm down, I don't want to fight. Because you don't know what this person actually wants from you. So all you do, you speak to him naturally, right? You check the paper in this situation. But what do you want guys to have in your mind? Is number one, distance. From this distance, a short distance, it's really hard to react. If you're gonna pull the knife now and stab me, that's pretty hard. So when you have a situation when the person in front of you looks suspicious, take a step back. Whatever he asks you, what's the time? But take the step back and still look like natural. Don't go, whoa. Don't increase the level of violence. Don't go here. Just take a step. Step number one is to have distance. Step number two, I want you guys to have in your mind, pay attention. Whenever the guy's gonna jump on you, boom, to have a push kick loaded. So Adam, one more time, I'm here checking the paper or giving you directions or whatever it is and you just jump with the knife whenever, whenever you want, okay? So as you see, when I have in my mind that the push kick is loaded, right? I have to plan it, it's not an instinct. An instinct of a human body, if a human being, is going back and he's using his hands. But it's not always good, you can lose the balance like you see the guy just almost losing his balance. When he comes towards you with the knife, it's pretty hard, stop again and again and again, stop, 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 stop me! Yeah. So as we said guys, when you can take the distance, you see the person suspicious in front of you, whoever it is, in this situation was a, a woman that turns out she's a terrorist. But you wanna be in a kind of your fighting stance that you're not showing him that you're in a fighting stance. If your right leg is a strong leg, put your right leg backward, okay? You're talking, you're checking the papers. Whenever the suspicious person comes at you, push kick and put, pay attention what my body is doing. Boom, my body goes backward. One more time, we'll do it slow. My body goes backward. When Adam tried to reach me with the knife, oh, try to reach me, Adam. Oh, I have the leg. Now, of course, that it, it could be that it's not done. I pushed him, boom, and then I'm gonna go grab a chair. And then I'm gonna go ask for help. And then maybe I have a little bit more time to run away. Okay, so that's the first step. After that, talking, fighting with enough of your hands, we already spoke about it. For those who want to check out the last episodes. Thank you guys for joining our Krav Maga class. You guys can stay tuned and check out our Facebook and YouTube page and learn more Krav Maga tips and lessons. Thank you.